Hello student, today we are going to talk about November 2019 pre-release for Form 5 student. Let's look at the paper, what we have today. A company supplying concrete slab for paving. The slab are made of batches of 20 and all the slabs are identical. There are different colors of slabs that we produce. There are gray color, the red color, green color, and you can order custom color, your own color. Now, as you have seen, for gray color, the rate is 0 0.05 dollar. And for red color or green color, the rate is 0. 055 dollar that is 10 percent more and for custom color the rate is even more expensive because you have to pay additional costs which have been mentioned the price is calculated like this okay for the gray color it's 0 0.05 dollar for red and green, it is 10% more. And for your personalized color, custom color, it is $5 more plus 15% more. So if you work it out, you will see that I have already created a table for that. Now, let's look at the programming part. The programming part, if somebody chooses the gray color, the rate I have written, somebody chooses the red, red and green color, the rate is more expensive and custom co color is still more expensive. So I have here put a select case. Select case, it, we have four options. It can be gray, it can be red or green, it can be custom or else the, body, the, the person puts an invalid color a message will be displayed it is an invalid color if you go back to the question you will see that we can choose here three different shapes we have the square we have rectangle and we have the round shapes but for the square shapes if you choose the square shapes you have two options you have a small size that is 600 by 600 and you have big size 450 times 450 the area for rectangular size shapes also you have a small area and larger area for round shapes you also have two diameters the small one and the big one now if you go the programming part of for this section okay I have created a table where the student will input the customer will input the shapes the shapes can be square can be rectangle can be round but otherwise it will be an invalid shapes now if the person chooses a square shapes the size can be small or big for small size the area is 600 by 600 and sorry sorry for big size the area is 600 by 600 for small size the area is 450 times 450 for the different shapes and size. Now let's look at the programming part. Let's say the person the, the person chooses a shape. So input shapes and size. Depending upon the shapes and the size, the area will be calculated. If the shape is square, okay, we have uh, program as a select case if the shape is a square we have to check the size if it is big size the area is 600 by 600 if it is small size then it's 450 by 450 now if the person have entered rectangular shapes again we have big size and small size and for round the same thing applies at this part of the question what is interesting is we have to choose the shapes and the size so depending upon the shapes 
and the size will calculate the a area now let's look at this part the depth okay the depth so the slab has a depth I will call it the thickness it can be thick it can be thin if it is thick the thickness is 45 and if it is thin the thickness is 38 and based on the thickness we calculate the volume appropriate volume we have already calculated the area now we are calculating the volume if it is thick the, the depth is 45 45 times the area we get the volume and if it is thin it is 38 times the area we get the volume otherwise it's an invalid depth now if we go to the programming part if the depth is thick the volume is calculated else the volume uh, we calculate it by multiplying by 38 now finally if we run the code for task 1 you can see we have declared the variables and here what I have tried to do I've tried to validate the color we enter the color if the color is gray red custom or else otherwise if it is I have created a loop and I have selected the appropriate color and the rate have been calculated now let's have a look at this part this part we enter the size and also we enter sorry sorry before the size we go we enter the shapes okay we enter the shapes and then we enter the size based on the shapes and the size we calculate the area okay so I have already explained if the shape is square we have big size and small size if it is rectangle shape we have big size and small size if it is round we have big size and small size and finally we ask the depth if the depth we, we enter to we ask the user to enter the depth if the depth is thick we calculate the volume if the deck is thin again we calculate the volume but with different thickness we have 45 and 38 now once we have calculated the area and the volume we have calculated the area the depth and the volume now we can cal calculate the price okay the price the rate we have if we divide the rate by <coughs> we divide the rate by hundred thousand then we multiply by the volume then multiply by 20 slabs that we need we get the price of 20 slab now we can consider 20 slab as a box of slab okay and here we display the price of 20 slab the price will be output if you run the program you will see that we test it we enter the color let's say the color is green we enter the shapes let's say it's square we enter the size let's say it's big and the depth is thick for the price for 20 slab is 138.8 dollar now if you want me to run the program for you in VB we can try it let's have a look at it okay we run it in VB okay let's try it now we now this part I have already completed task free so just skip this part for now Okay, zero point zero five. You can skip this part because this is part. Sorry, sorry. Uh, let me comment it for now. The cost because this is uh, you're supposed to do this in uh, task free. So let me comment all this. This this section is for part task free so I can make all this for you just quickly I comment it okay okay so I run it again wait okay let's enter the color green G or EY then the shape 
let's say it is square this capital and then we write the size as big and the depth thick okay as you can see the price of 20 slab has already been calculated given to you as 136.8 dollar now let's task one has already been completed let's move to task uh, two now okay task two Okay, task 2, what is interesting about it? We will use task 1, but here the user has to input the number of slabs he wants to buy. And we can sell only, we cannot sell less than 20 slabs or more than 100 slabs. It's not accepted. And the number of slabs should not, should be a multiple of 20 okay and if it is not a multiple of 20 we have to make it a multiple of 20 so we, here what I have tried let's say the price of one box of 20 slab has already been calculated okay we have already calculated the price of 20 slabs that is a box of 20 slab has already been calculated now we ask the user to enter the number of slabs he wants to buy if the number of slabs is less than 20 or more than 100 in this case a message will be displayed that the number of slabs should not be less than 20 or more than 100 else if it is more than 20 and less than 100 in that case we have to check if it is a multiple of 20 we use mod 20 okay if it is exactly divisible by 20 then the number of slabs remains the same but if it is not exactly divisible by 20 then we, what we have to do we take the number of slabs we div so this function is div here okay this symbol is div so div means we divide number of slab by 20 we multiply by 20 then we add additional 20 slabs to it if it is not a multiple of 20 now this loop is a validation it repeats until we are within the range of 20 and 100 now we have to calculate the price of order the person has ordered the so price multiplied by the number of slab divided by 20 we get the number of boxes that the the person has ordered multiplied by the price of one box we get the order price and the number of slabs that the person has ordered if we run the program you will see that we get something like this we enter the gray color we enter the shapes we enter the big size and the thickness is deep F the price of 20 slabs is uh, it's 138 sorry sorry 136.8 dollar now we enter the number of slabs that the person wants to order let's say 20 5 so if the person wants to buy 25 slabs we can only sell boxes of 20 so we have to sell two boxes so the number of slabs that should be ordered is 40 and uh, you check it you work it out next let's talk about task free okay task free here we have to enter the cost of concrete so we ask the user to enter the cost of concrete and the type of concrete there are two types of concrete either it's basic or the best so we have then a select case here if it is a basic concrete then the concrete cost will remain the same if it is of best concrete then we add 7% to the initial cost 
else it is an invalid concrete tile. Again, so base of the concrete costs our rate will change depending upon the color. So the rate here will be rate is equal to the cost of concrete for gray it will remain the same but for red and green it will be 10% more and for custom color it will be 15% more plus 5% five dollar additional. If we test this program you will still get something like this. So the cost of concrete let's say is 0 0.05 dollar so we have chosen here the basic color, the basic type of concrete, and the color is green, the shape is square, the size is big, the depth is thick. So the price of 20 slabs is $136.8. So let's say we choose 25 slabs, we are going to sell two boxes, one box of 40, sorry, sorry, uh, two boxes, one box of 20, so 40 slabs, you check, okay. So we have come to the end of this uh, uh, video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, good luck for your exam. Bye-bye. Uh,